Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to learn how to import flat file, I mean CSV file in database with the help of SQL Server Management Studio. Let's begin. So first, open the Management Studio on your system. Here we go. And this is the latest version 19.1 of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, here we are. Now we need to connect to the server. Click on the connect. We just connected to the server. Now we can see the databases on the left hand side. And now first I will create a, a demo database in which I will import that flat file. So I just created a new database with name test. Great. So guys, we need a flat file means a CSV file to import. So for this purpose, I have created one CSV file here. Let me open and I will show you what data is inside. So this is simple table with four column. First one is ID, second one name of food, third one is weight and fourth is the availability. That's great. So this is CSV file. So how do we create a CSV file? It's simple. So first, just create a notepad with .txt extension, save this file and then create a comma separated value this way and you can simply go back here and rename this file. Put this extension .csv and save it. Now this is CSV file ready for use. So go to the SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see here in this table, we don't have any table and select the database right click go to the task in the task just come down here is the option import flat file click on it and then the import flat file wizard will open here we have steps and we will follow one by one you can simply click on the step link or you can simply click on the next at this place we need to select the file we have just created I'm talking about that CSV file so I have placed that CSV file on the desktop so let me look for that here we are just select it click open and now at this place you can give the table name in which you want to import that CSV data I hope this is clear so my table will be inventory and I will import that CSV data in this inventory table I hope this is clear to you and the table schema is DBO leave this thing as it is click next at this page you can see the preview of the data how many rows are there and what are the columns that will be displayed here graphically so you can understand how many columns will be there in your table. When you click next, you will have the editor for your table. So here uh, you can modify the data type. You can assign a different data type to your column. Suppose we want to put the ID in our table as an integer type. And in our case, maybe the food item has some lengthy name in that case I want to put varchar maximum so I have just changed the data type of this column and now I want to set the ID as a primary key so I have checked that box and I want to put the weight as a float data type so I'm going to change it and the availability column so this is bit by default so we need correction I will put the character with 10 character or uh, you can use the var care so you can correct the table columns name as well here look at here so I want to correct the name of this column this way now the new column is the food name 
and uh, I want to change a little bit here food weight after that I will put this as availability previously it was available now this is availability column great all done click next finally this will show you the summary that the name of the server database name is test now the table is dbo.inventory and that will be saved great finally when you click next you will get this tick mark this green tick mark that means the table is created and the data is imported from the csv file now we will check the table so when you see the table here you will not find this thing so you have to do the right click and you have to refresh this db after that when you expand the table node you will find that table db.inventory now you can see the rows here you can simply go this way or you can do the right click or select the edit top 200 rows something so we have different ways or you can simply uh, open the query window or you can execute the select statement as well so it is your choice the way you want to query this table so guys when you run this query you will see the results this is the way you can import a csv file in database with the help of this sql server management studio i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe and for now thanks for watching cool it help